Doing business in Japan often means picking up on some subtle cultural nuances and practices, even when it comes to taking a taxi. So listen up, because this could get complicated. How about taking a taxi with your work colleagues? Here's the boss. This person is his second in command. And this person here is next in line. Finally, there's me, the least senior person in the group. If we are following traditional etiquette then, when taking a taxi with work colleagues or business partners in Japan, attention should be paid to seniority, as in age or position and seating. So then, in the case that, say, two of you are taking a taxi, the more senior of the two typically sits in the back, while the other person sits in the front passenger seat. Those who are close to their superiors, however, might be invited to join them in the back. It really depends on the dynamic of your team. In the case of three people, the most senior person typically sits behind the driver's seat and the next in seniority joins them in the back. After they are seated, the least senior person takes the front passenger seat. If there are four of you, again, the most senior person is in the seat behind the driver. The third most senior person should sit in the middle at the back and the second most senior person takes the remaining seat. Once again, after everyone else is seated, the least senior person takes the front passenger seat. Now, it may seem to some foreigners that actually the front passenger seat is one of the better options, especially when compared to sitting in the middle at the back. Traditionally though, this is not so in Japan. And just remember, it's the person sitting in the front seat who is typically expected to handle payment of the taxi fare. If you're feeling uncertain about this though, why not ask your co-workers about seating etiquette within the group? Okay, so if that got a bit complicated, don't worry. While this custom does exist, it's not taken so seriously. That said, if you're a foreigner doing business in Japan, showing some knowledge of this custom could score you some bonus points. Oh, and don't forget, in most cases, the rear doors of taxis in Japan open and close automatically. So it's better not to try and do so yourself. Japan might not be the largest country in terms of size, but regions and people are diverse, as can be their manners and customs. What you've seen in this video was just an example to get you started. There might be variations, so just remember to keep an open mind and don't be afraid to communicate with the locals. Interested in a life in the capital of Japan? Head over to the Life in Tokyo website where you can find more videos like this as well as articles, event listings and much more to help you make the most of your life in the city.